in this guided meditation, we will call on our unicorn allies to help us cut cords with any individual place, circumstance, or timeline that is no longer serving you or from whom you want to cut any kind of entanglements that are happening and establish yourself as a sovereign being. So begin with the breath, sit or lie down comfortably and just begin gently to breathe into your heart space. light from all around you into the heart and just gently breathing out any tension welcoming in the light with each in breath and with each out breath releasing anything that is not serving your highest good As you breathe, send your awareness down to Mother Earth. Feel yourself settle into the Earth. And just feel as though you're just settling into a beautiful stillness. Being held by Mother Earth breathing from your heart down to the heart of Mother Earth, the crystalline core at the heart of the Earth, up and down a few times, heart to heart with Mother Earth. Send your awareness up through your crown chakra, through the sun to the central sun. Become aware of this beautiful light shining down upon you. And just breathe a few breaths, heart to heart with the sun, the center of the universe. Sending your breath up and down and welcoming in light from above. Now calling in light and our allies of light from all directions. Welcoming with open hearts and open minds all beings of light allies, the dragons, the angels, ancestors, all other beings of light willing to hold space in the light today. Thank you for your guidance, your protection, your assistance, your love. With light on all four sides, above and below, we now call our higher selves, the angels of light to hold space, the within space. stand now in sacred space and we set the intention for sovereignty. I am my own true self, connected above and below to Holy Mother and Holy Father and releasing all other connections 
vibrating at less than unconditional love. And specifically, we are here to release entanglements around a particular individual, place, timeline, or other being or circumstance. So breathe and now begin to envision yourself in a beautiful, natural setting. Wherever your favorite place in nature is, whether it be a beautiful beach or a mountain top or a meadow, whatever place of beauty in nature makes you feel safe, relaxed and free. You feel something soft and inviting beneath you, a clump of moss or sand, the blankets, and settle in. And just breathe in the beauty and the glory of the natural surroundings around you. And as you breathe, just become aware of a shining presence at your back. You can feel the warmth the warmth of the body, the warmth of the breath, the warmth of the heart. And as you send your awareness up and behind you and look up and see this beautiful unicorn standing behind you. Beautiful, majestic, shining, the crystal horn, single horn projecting from the middle of the shining forehead. This unicorn you know, shakes his mane and stomps his foot and from over your shoulder begins to draw a circle in the air in front of you with his horn. And as the circle widens, you see that he's opening a portal in front of you. A great round portal like electric blue and violet, sparks of gold and silver, opening wider and wider until at last it is as wide as a great doorway, as wide and as tall as a, as a barn door. And he, this unicorn comes forward and steps forward and stands before you, between you and this portal. And he kind of gestures. He's standing sideways to you. He looks at you, his great deep eyes. He shakes his mane. He snorts and he gestures with his horn up to his back. And as you approach him, and place your hands upon his back. You feel this tingle of energy. He gently reaches around and boosts you up with his horn right up onto his back. And he waits for you to give the go ahead. And you look at this portal And you give him a little squeeze and he walks right through the portal into this dark, majestic landscape, like a deep, ancient, ancient forest. Trees reaching up to the heavens. It's like a cathedral of trees. Fireflies lighting the way before you along this path and you can see way up up between the trees little patches of night sky and starlight he 
the way is lit before you and the fireflies ensure that you can see. And as you move along this path, you see before you this great pillar of light. You get closer and you see that there's an opening in the trees and a great shining pillar of starlight connecting heaven and earth in this clearing in the woods. And as you get even closer, you recognize that it's, it's more than starlight. It's a host of angelic beings holding space, this column of light. And as you approach this pillar of light, your unicorn gestures with his horn and the angelic hosts parts and you are admitted into this great clearing about 50 yards in diameter. On the other side of the clearing, you see another unicorn entering. And if you're disconnecting to a person, that person will be on his back. And if you're disconnecting to a place or a timeline, there will be a holographic symbol of that place that that unicorn is carrying with it. And you come, both of you come towards the center of this clearing and the unicorns stop horn to horn and you slide off And you watch as your unicorn gently takes his horn and draws a shining circle of lights around you. A shining circle of crystal flame and burning without heat is defining your space. You feel very safe and secure centered and grounded in this circle. And you look over and the other unicorn is also defining a circle, this horn, around this person or the symbol of that which you are seeking to disengage. And these circles, it's about a circle's width between them. And the unicorn step back, each at your own backs. You can still feel the presence of your unicorn holding space for you. And you stand and first just acknowledge it's another person recognize it's the higher self it's your higher self and that person's higher self face to face and recognize the holy spark of divine love that is within each individual but also now begin to become aware of any energetic cords between you. And if it's a, a, something other than a human being that's you felt attached to, also recognize the beauty in that and also begin to see the cords. And these cords may appear as though they are ropes or chains or strings attached from your chakra system or your body parts it may appear sticky or gooey or stringy these attachments and you start to visualize them begin to scan your body and become aware of 
where all these attachments are. And as you become aware, then feel your unicorn stepping up. And one by one, using his horn like a sword to begin to cut these cords from your body. As each cord is cut from your field or your body and see it elastically bouncing back away from you. But at the same time, the unicorn at the other side is releasing these cords from them as well. And so these cords spring back into the center between your two circles and you see another circle forming in between purple fire these cords beginning to pile up in the center of the clearing one by one feel these cords being cut and disconnected and springing back all at once releasing from both of you and landing in the middle inside this ring of purple fire where it's contained. There's no growing back of these cords. And as each cord is released from your body, from your field, and see your unicorn placing his horn there and gently pulsing light into that wound. Feel that place where the cord was just healing instantaneously. And your body filling with light at each place. Continue moving around your entire body, allowing your unicorn to walk completely around you, severing and releasing cords and healing those spots where the cords were. And go through your entire body from crown, around your face, your neck, your ears, back of your head, down to your spine, your shoulders, arms, elbows, wrists, hands, fingers, fingernails, chest, breasts, upper back, side body left, side body right, moving over the belly, the solar plexus, the womb, uterus, genitals, releasing any cords gently, painlessly. Buttocks, lower back, thighs, knees, front and back, calves, front and back, ankles, feet, bottom of the feet, toes, and now moving down, all the way down to 12 inches below your feet and clearing your earth star chakra of any cords. Moving up to the chakras above your head six inches above your head, a foot above your head, three feet above your head, and clearing any cords that have 
accumulated there, sending light into each of these areas. And across from you, your partner in attachment is receiving the same, the same treatment, the same healing, releasing any cords between you and healing, filling up those connections with light and just seeing the regeneration, healing of the tissue within as the unicorn sends light through the horn to these areas. So that each of you stands healed and whole and separate, your own free being. And when this is done, thank your unicorns and say, I am a free and sovereign being in service to the light. And take a look now at this pile of severed cords in front of you between your two circles within this circle of violet flame and just acknowledge acknowledge the history that you've had with this person timeline place circumstance and give thanks to the lessons give thanks for the lessons the wisdom received from this connection send from your heart a great wave of violet light just breathing it with your breath through your heart sending violet light into the center here into this onto right directly onto this pile of severed cords and watch it ignite into violet flame see your unicorn circling his horn around this bonfire violet flame bonfire circling his horn around it and as he does the flames grow higher and higher consuming all those bonds those entanglements those connections and you can see as they burn they become clear and glassy and they start to lift up dissolve into this crystal diamond starlight pillar that you're in rising up and dissolving into the light sending it up 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 towards the light to disappear and dissolve into the one Now you watch as your partner's unicorn moves back along the circle and extinguishing the circle of flame around them. The other person now mounting their unicorn, or if it's other than a person, the unicorn picking up the symbol, quietly turning its back and leaving, leaving the clearing. And now you are a unicorn too turns to you, walks back around you, extinguishing the circle of flame and drawing it back up into his horn. And finally, he stands in front of you again and gestures for you to mount, boosts you back up onto his back and turns around 
the angelic host's parts to allow you to exit this clearing in the woods. You move back along the sacred path, back to this shining portal of light that's still open. Your unicorn leaps through this portal. You slide back on the other side and he turns around with his horn, spins his horn the other way and closes the portal up all the way and turns to you and he comes to stand right in front of you, blowing his warm breath over your entire being. You can feel your whole being just relaxing, being purified, this warm air, warm breath. Unicorn gently taps you, this horn at the crown of the head, at the third eye, the throat, and the heart. Very gently taps you at the solar plexus, and the lower belly, and the root area. And as he taps each one of these chakra points, you can feel chakras align and open, expand, and balance. He breathes over you. You can feel this sweet, perfumed breath of the unicorn is washing over you, cleansing you, and you just feel purified any guilt or shame that may be still in your field around this relationship, any feelings of regret just melting away, knowing that all happened in the right way, the right time for you to receive the lessons that you needed in order to move on from here. You feel this infusion of warmth and light into your body, to your mind, to your heart. Your whole soul fills with this warmth and light. You feel a deep, deep peace settling into your heart. So if you like, you can reach up and give your unicorn a pat and thank him for the time spent today. See him shake his mane one more time, turn around and trot away, leaving you back in your natural space. And now when you're ready, come back to this time, the space, come back, come back, open your eyes. You are a sovereign being, beholden to no one, in service to the light, connected at all times, to your divine mother, your divine father and serving them of your own free will. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the session is now finished, sealed, and complete.